Following the loss on Friday night at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, the Sens face off against the Colorado Avalanche in an important one to wrap up their three-game road trip. I played a pretty good game. Uh, you know, you hate to lose the way we did. Uh, at the end of the game like that, and a bang-bang kind of play, a couple of bang-bang goals. Uh, but that's part of hockey. Uh, you learn when you win, you learn when you lose. Yeah, Zuby skating back home, so uh, positive news uh, on that front. Uh, you know, he's obviously not playing tonight or probably won't play the next game, but he's a lot closer than when we left. And uh, Pence will be out. He's week to week. It was just an optional skate ahead of the game on Sunday night, and in fact, it was only Linus Olmark who was out there doing some goalie work ahead of the game on Sunday night. Despite that, though, Travis Green did not name a starting goaltender and did not confirm any line combinations going into Sunday's game. He did, though, comment on the success of the Josh Norris, Claude Giroux, and Drake Batherson line, as well as Cole Reinhardt and the fourth line, and also commented on the first line when Nick Cousins and Michael Amadio swapped places in the game on Friday night. I thought that line gave us some good minutes last game. Uh, I, what I like about Rhino is he's fairly good size. He can skate uh, when he plays aggressive, uh, much like we want to play as a team. His game's effective and, and uh, he can play in the NHL. They're working. They're working extremely hard. Uh, when you have three good hockey players that work uh, and are being responsible, you can see that uh, not only do you defend well, but you create. And uh, I've liked their line. Uh, for a couple games now and uh, hopefully they can continue playing the way they are. You know, you might see guys pop in and out of that line. I thought when we put Cuzzy up, uh, gave a little spark. Uh, he's an energy guy. Uh, you might see both of them play in that spot. Some quick hitting stats coming into tonight's game. Drake Batherson carries a three-game goal streak into tonight's game. He picked up four goals over those three games and has five total goals on the season, which is the quickest that he's reached the five-goal mark so far in his career. Claude Giroux also comes in tonight with a five-game point streak after picking up a goal and an assist in the game on Friday in Vegas. Nick Cousins also gets set to skate in his 600th NHL game here tonight. And as for the Colorado Avalanche, they come in 4-4-0 four, four oh so far on the season and and though they are only sitting at 500, that record can be deceiving. They lost their first four games, but have since rebounded to win their next four. They're only the third team in NHL history to lose their first four games in regulation and then win their next four, coming in tonight with a four-game winning streak. Kale McCarr leads the way for the Avs in points with 15 so far on the young season, and Ross Colton leads in goals with seven so far on the year. Well, much like every game, uh, it starts with our game, making sure that we're on top of our game for 60 minutes. Uh, Obviously, Colorado's got a good team. We got a lot of good players. Uh, we're going to have to make sure that we're aware when, that, uh, when those guys are on the ice. Well, I mean, we know they're a good team. Uh, they're playing well the last handful of games, and uh, they got some elite players on on that side. So, um, you know, we're we're feeling good about our game. Uh, you know, it was a tough way to finish in Vegas the other night, but uh, we felt like we played a pretty good game and. Um, we want to finish the road trip off on a good note. You want to have a good response, and coaches talked a lot about uh, having a good response. Whether it's uh, you know a win, you're coming to your next game, you got to follow it up, and if you lose, you got to follow that one up with a better performance. So um, I think it's kind of just a singular mindset, you know, focus for us uh, game by game, um, and it's uh, it's been going uh, pretty good for us to have that mindset in the early going. The Avs have been a difficult opponent for the Senators in recent history. In fact, the Sens come into tonight carrying a 1-7-0 record against the Avs in their previous eight contests. The last win for the Ottawa Senators coming in December of 2021, which was a 6-5 overtime victory. Brady Kachuk got the overtime winner in that one. It's the Sens and the Avs on a Sunday night to wrap up the three-game road trip from Ball Arena. For Sens 360, I'm Jackson Starr.